what's going on everybody in today's video we're going to be looking at llama 3.1 and how you can actually use it for your coding projects how you can get it set up as a co-pilot either hosted locally or using it in the cloud and this is something that's going to be able to replace github copilot completely free so you don't have to worry about paying for github copilot let's dive right into it All right, guys, so if you haven't seen my recent videos or just any AI videos in the last little bit about Llama 3.1, I'll give you a quick rundown. But I did a video um, kind of going over this blog post here, going over kind of some of their tests that you can see here, as well as I did a video yesterday going over um, some basic testing to see how the long, uh, model performs. Just to summarize here, uh, Llama 3.1, uh, there's three different models. There's the 8 B model, the 70 B model, and the 405 B model with 405 billion parameters. All right. And you can see the um, comparisons right here. And this is the first open source frontier model that is on par with closed source models like GPT 40 Omni, as well as Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So this is a new turning for the AI industry when we're starting to see open source catching up to closed source and things are going to get interesting here but anyways you can see the comparison here with the different tests and the evals as well as the 8b model comparative to a lot of the open source models here and i'll leave a link for this in the description down below guys now github copilot if you're not familiar with it it can do your co uh, can be your copilot to a lot of uh coding tasks and you can use it in vs code and and whatever editor you're using all right, it is about 20, 15, 20 bucks a month or 10 to 40 bucks a month, depending on what you're using. And um, yeah, it's it's honestly not the, the greatest. It's all it's OK, but it's not the greatest. So we're going to be looking at how you can actually use continue dot dev to do this for us for free. And I've done a video in the past about continue dot dev. I showed you how to set it up, use it with uh Oh, another open source model i showed you a video on on how to use it with quen 2 but in today we're going to be looking at using it with llama 3.1 the newest most uh, advanced open source model so you can use this right away in your projects there's a few different ways you can go about this but if you're not familiar with continue.dev uh link for it will be in the description down below you can check out their website they have a discord as well and you can um yeah you can either download it with vs code or with JetBrains, all right? And there's a GitHub, um, it's open source, so really, really cool tool. Simply to download it, all you'll do is you'll just go over, for example, I'm using VS Code, and you would go to your extensions, you would just search continue, and it will load right here. You can see here, it is the leading open source AI code assistant, and it is it is really good for open source where it's at and uh yeah it's 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 definitely very useful i've been using it for the last um couple weeks and it's 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 pretty awesome so definitely uh yeah so download this tool really good uh have it as your extension once you download it as your extension you're gonna see it appear on this side i like to drag it over here to the right so you can see it's right here and uh, we'll get back to it in just a second okay so now that we have continue dev there's a few different ways we're going to use llama all right there's a couple ways you can use it like i mentioned so one is olama uh hosting it locally if you're not familiar with olama simply just go to olama.com link for it will be in the description down below you download olama whether you're on windows whatever the case may be you download the tool and then to install uh the model you just run the command so if you go to models here you'll see there's a bunch of different models there's quentu there's um gemma mistral mistral just came out with another new uh model so we'll look at that in other videos deep sea coder all the all the different models olama is really great but of course in this video we're going to focus on llama 3.1 and unless you have some massive machine that you probably spent at least like 20k 15 20k on um for your computer you're not going to be able to run 405b probably won't even um, a lot of people won't be able to run the 70b model 
So we're going to use the 8B model. All right. So I'm going to show you how to use the 8B model. I'm also going to show you how you can use these other bigger models in just a second. But um, I'm showing you the Olama method first um, or just going over it real quick. So once you select 8B and you download Olama, then you're just going to copy this command right here. Olama run Llama 3.1. And that's how you're going to install it. You're going to run that in your uh, command line. So if I go here to my command line, you can see here, I actually already ran it. Once I ran it, then you can see, you can actually talk to it within the command line. So I just said, hey, it said, how's your day going so far? I said, what LLM is this? Um, it told me about that it's using BERT and it's a variation and, and whatnot. Hugging face transform. It went into in depth about the actual um, exact uh, what type of model is, but then I just said, Hey, is this Llama 3.1? Said, Yes, I'm indeed Llama 3.1, uh, made by Meta. And then you can continue talking to it. You could do forward slash uh, question mark help to see different prompts and whatnot. But uh, that's one way you can talk to it. Also, too, guys, I did mention this in other videos, but if you do want to continue talking to it, you want a method to talk to um, use the LLM within your command prompt whether you're in VS code or in your normal command prompt PowerShell, you can check out shell GPT. I've covered it in other videos. I'm not going to dive into it in this video, but I'll leave the GitHub repo down below as well. If you have any questions about that, just let me know if you're running into any issues, but I did cover that in my other video I did on continue dev. So you could also check that out. I show you how to exactly install it, initialize it, etc., with your API key. All right. So now that you have the Olama situation, the way there's a couple ways that you can actually use the bigger models within um, continue dev. And I'm going to show you how to set up the Olama as well as these bigger models in just a second once you have it. But in this example, we're going to use together.ai. You could also use Grok. And there's also other, if you go to, um, if you go to their continue extension right here and you click on plus, You'll see there's a bunch of different options so you can really use any one of these like there's i mean there's obviously not open AI, but like to get some of these other ones also have access to uh llama 3.1 you if you don't know you can just check you can go to their uh, website and see which ones actually have it but you can see here we got different options um so we do have obviously options for open ai anthropic azure uh mistral olama which you can use um, the local one, uh, coherent, uh, grok together AI, which we're going to use. Then obviously these other ones, Google Gemini, etc. Right. So what we're going to do quick together AI gives, I believe $5 worth of free API tokens. So you can just go ahead. Link will be in the description. You can sign up for together AI for free. Then you just go to your, um, profile API section you copy that API key. Um, you can also check out their docs and all the other stuff with Together AI. But once you have that, you're going to go back to your uh, VS code. And the way you actually initialize what model you're going to use is you press on the plus. And then for us, we will select Together AI. From that point on, you're going to put in your Together AI API key. Once you do that, I already put mine in. Once you do that, you're going to select the specific model. And for us, we're going to select Llama 3 chat. All right. Now you may be wondering, oh, this isn't 3.1. Don't worry. I'm going to show you what you're actually going to do. So once you select Llama 3 chat, there's really two ways that you can use continue dev. One is the chat method. So you can get it to chat with either asking a questions over here, or you can even reference your code in vs code and you can upload certain sections or no i'll show you that in just a second but different ways you can talk to it sort of like how you would talk to gpt chat gpt but you can also set up a model for autocomplete so typically the way i like to do it is for uh, the chat method i like to use a higher quality model and then for the autocomplete you can use a lower quality model just because you don't always need it per se like you're not using it as much as the chat um to generate long, a big amount of content auto completes usually just to kind of help you auto complete things right so we can use the 8b model the locally hosted model for auto complete i like to use the open source uh models for auto complete and then we can use a bigger model for the chat all right 
So in the other video, I showed you how to do this with uh, GPT-40 Mini, which is also a really good to, um, uh, model for doing this because it's very low cost and it's also very good. All right, so once you actually click on the Llama 3 chat, you're going to click on the cog right here to see your actual settings within continue.dev. All right, so you'll see here I have a couple models. This is the model from last time, uh, which is GPT-40 Mini. We're going to ignore that. You're going to, you'll probably just have one here or maybe two, but um, you're going to, yeah, you'll have uh, the Llama 3 model, which you just selected, and you're going to change it to say this. And this will be linked in the description down below. Meta dash llama forward slash meta dash llama 3.1 dash 405b dash instruct dash turbo. All right, so we're using the 405b model. And you can see the provider is together and then you can see the context length and then your api key would be here i just remove mine and i remove mine here as well and then yeah you'll just see this is auto uh, test custom command here you can ignore that the next is the once you would do that though you would just save it so Control s and then you would have the chat i'll show you the chat in just a second but for the autocomplete once you have llama o llama installed and llama 3.1 installed you can just put for the model here, llama 3.1, and then change the title here for that. Then you can save it, and then you'll be good to go for autocomplete as well. So I'm going to show you the chat in just a second. Um, I'm just going to put my API keys back. All right, so let's go ahead and see if this is llama, and I'm just chatting with it. Clever question, I am deed a type of la language model, but I'm not llama the animal. I'm an AI designed to understand the blah, blah, blah. Um, is this, is this llama by meta? You're really getting into detail now. Yes, I am the large language model by meta, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So to confirm, I am indeed llama large language model application, etc. So you can see here, this is the chat function within continue dev. You can go ahead and start coding, and you'll see the auto completion set it up correctly now you can see it's a little bit i guess slow right so if you, you want it a bit faster you can also go ahead down select here click on grok if you're not familiar with grok they use the uh lpus and um instead of gpus and um yeah there is extremely fast they have the new llama 3.1 model you would just basically go create a grok account put in your api key here and then you would just select the llama uh, model for grok you can just check their docs and uh, i believe it's like llama 3.1 grok something like this we just put that in there into the configure file uh that we were just in the settings and then you would be save, save that and you'd be good to go all right guys so this is a really good setup and a really good alternative to github copilot you can start leveraging these one open source models you can also leverage uh the other closed source models too if you want such as uh open ai's gpt40 or gpt40 mini and Anthropic's uh, Claude Sonnet 3.5. But um, yeah, with Llama 3.1 and open source on the rise, it's definitely very, um, you can definitely start leveraging it in a smart way. These open source models that are um, either very low cost if you're using it through a cloud provider or uh, basically free if you're hosting it on your own computer with the smaller models. All right, guys. So if you haven't already checked out some of my other videos about Llama and you need to get up to date about that check out some of the ones i did yesterday and the day before since uh mark zuckerberg released it and other than that guys let me know what your thoughts are about llama 3.1 if you've been playing around with it as well as two guys if you're new to this channel um we upload videos every day on ai automation coding uh business growth marketing sales etc so if you're an entrepreneur tech person developer uh ai enthusiast whatever the case may be and you got some value here smash that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily content I'm really going to be uh, increasing the quality and, you know, trying to give you guys the best value possible. I've been working on some really cool things here with automation, etc. So, and I'm going to show you guys more applicable stuff that you can do with Llama 3.1 in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. Also too, guys, if you're new here and you haven't already joined the free stride community, check that out. Link will be in the description down below, guys. We got our free Facebook group, free discord channel. We have about 750 to 800 members currently so you can go network with myself as well as like-minded entrepreneurs tech developers 
uh, coders, whatever the case may be, all in the group below, marketers, salespeople, etc. And then also too, guys, if you run a business and need to grow your business with AI, I have a full book on it. It's called Client Acquisition Code. Link for that will be in the description down below. I even have a full chapter on AI, AI prompting, how to get the best prompts, like go into detail. It's a full chapter and the book is about 500 to 600 pages, depending on the hard cover or soft cover and whatnot, ebook, etc. So link for that will be in the description down below, guys. Other than that, I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.